Hello and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Wes Carver and today I'll be giving my ideas of what I'd like to see in the upcoming installment to the Scream franchise, Scream 7. Before we get into that though, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, make sure to follow my band's social media just for show. It'll be linked down in the description. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 1,000 followers on TikTok so we can do a live stream. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into what I think should happen in the upcoming Scream movie. Scream 7 is going to be directed by Christopher Landon, the guy who directed Happy Death Day, which is one of my favorite horror movies. I'm very confident about him directing Scream 7 because Happy Death Day already had a Scream vibe to it anyway, and he could take the stuff that made it feel like a Scream movie, plus the stuff that made his movies different from the other ones and make Scream 7 really cool. What I loved about Scream 6 is that the opening scene was very different from the other ones. They could take something like that and do it for this film, but make it to where it's a flashback to Maureen Prescott's death. I think going back and seeing how Billy and Stu um, started all of this would be a really cool to possibly end the franchise. And it could show maybe little uh, tiny details to switch it up to maybe possibly bring back um, Sydney Prescott to the forefront of the film. I do like Sam and Tara, but I think that bringing back Sydney could actually have her story um, have a full conclusion to it than just saying that she's off and that she's doing well. As much as I did love Scream 6 and Scream 5, the killer's motives were very um, repetitive to me. The Scream 5, obviously, it was the boyfriend who, it was basically like Billy Loomis. And then in Scream 6, it was just like um, Scream 2, where it was the parents coming back for revenge for the death of their son. Um, I feel like if they take this movie, since everyone's guessing that it's going to be like Scream 3, and possibly have them go to California, then we're just going to guess the whole movie, and there's basically watching Scream 1 through 3 again. Hopefully they have something planned that will take everybody surprise and make this movie very different from the rest of the film. Scream 6 took place in Manhattan, which I thought was very cool because it was somewhere new and different that the Scream franchise has never been to before. What I think would be even cooler is in if this upcoming film, they could possibly go to London. They've already hinted at this in the past with um, saying that Sam and Tara's mom is in London doing a press conference in Scream 5. Now, if they could do something like that and take, have um, Sam and Tara have to go over there and talk to their mom about the attacks would be very cool. It would be even better if they could possibly have it at Christmas time. Why? Because the lights and the snow and all of that would be really cool. It would be like Never Hike Alone with the death scene out in the snow. I think they finally need to show who Sam and Tara's mom is since they're talking about who she obviously was with Billy and what um, if she ever noticed anything suspicious about him, if she knew about the killings or anything like that. I think it would just be cool to finally get to see who it is and possibly see if she had anything in with the first film, which I hope not because I think that would take away from the first movie, but it would be cool to see if she had any idea of what was going on. I didn't like about Scream 6 is it seemed that nobody really died. You had the core four and none of, all of them were safe by the end of the film. They killed off random characters that no one really cared about. If they could take Sam, Tara, Chad, or Mindy and kill one of them off, plus Gail or Sydney, they could have two characters from each group. That would make it to where everybody thinks there's no limits for this movie and anything can happen. The reveal would be cool if everybody figured it out earlier on in the movie to where they're for most of it they're just trying to hunt down the person and stop them from doing the killings at the end of the movie the killer could get away with it and nobody figures that out who it is and it could possibly be a cliffhanger for the end of the franchise or a possible new sequel the movie's cool and scary is that they're mostly realistic yes there's some parts of it's like that couldn't happen but most of the time is very realistic and that's what makes the movies very special. If they bring back Sue Mocker, then it's going to be like having Michael Myers come back from being burnt alive. There's no way he would have survived that TV being dropped on his head. I think they need to stop bringing back people that you think have died uh, and saying that they survived these crazy deaths somehow. Kirby's character makes sense because Wes Craven had already said he filmed it like that, that way they could possibly bring her back. But Stu Mockers, there's no way he would have survived. 
have very high hopes for this movie since Christopher Land is going to be directing it and all that stuff. Those are just some things I would like to see and some things I wouldn't like to see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave down in the comments what you would like to see happen in the movie. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.